All right, guys, here we go. Uh, Thursday, uh, December 8th. And today we're, we're kind of doing a review from the uh, video yesterday. And if you remember the video from yesterday, uh, we had Amazon, which you have it now, uh, the daily chart. And right at the close, we took a little position and we were going to go short or get out of that long position. No, we took a uh, position, we call it time count and the type of candle that was closed. If I can pull that in so you can see it, this candle here, uh, we took a little bit of a long position looking for more upside. And then we had our stop loss here at the red dash line. So let me take that off, kind of clean this thing up. And then uh, we were going to add to the position as we went through uh, this top uh, of the day from yesterday, this uh, candle from yesterday, that blue dash line. And that's kind of where we are now. And then we had a range here that we were looking for it to come up into. Uh, for the day, but as you can see, we have this wick here. Let me go to the four minute chart. Here's what we, you know, to add to. But if we come back and take that out or come down to it, then we're going to go ahead and, you know, take the profits we have and not get greedy. Now we're very extended above the 20, and that's a, you know, a key to start, uh, you know, taking profits rather than being aggressive and, and adding. In other words, even though, you know, this is from this reference here is from the from the daily chart. That's always why we were uh, going to use it. But uh, anyway, you know, switch around the different timelines here. I decided not to do that because of the extension of the 20. Uh, you don't want to get too, you know, aggressive or bullish uh, when price normally will pull back. And allow that, you know, 20 to catch up to it. So uh, that's kind of where we are right now. You can see uh, quite a bit of green over here. And the main reason being is the weaker dollar. Okay. So it looks like we're going to, let's see how this candle ends here in about a minute, uh, 30 some seconds. And uh, we'll see if we get any push, you know, a retest to this high up here or if it. Or if it's just a pause candle and we get, uh, let me see if I can draw this for you. Just get, you know, a big red candle to the downside. That's a little extreme, but you get the point. Uh, turn on where this candle closes. Like, I don't know, right about here or lower, then we could get a continuation to the downside. Another red candle come in here. So you have uh, red then green, then a big red candle green, but this one's a little bit stronger, so we don't want to you know, doubt that right. Well, while we're waiting, let's go to the dollar and take a look at it on the daily. And yeah, as you can see, we hit that 200 yesterday and the downtrend line, and our reference point here that our Patreon members know about. So we're coming back down, probably we'll come down in retest the support see if it's support or we'll go right you know uh through it and uh so weaker dollar uh should correlate to uh stronger oh it looks like it's moving up here interesting uh amazon yeah st st weaker dollar should get the metals popping uh should get some of these stocks green and even crypto so anyway well, all right, well, I'm not going to, uh, looks like we're going to continue on there. So anyway, guys, we'll, um, matter of fact, I'm going to take that blue dash line off. I'm going to put this low pivot here in case we go through it. That'll be when we get out and just take our profit here. And it looks like that's coming up. Well, we're just going to go ahead and take it. Uh, get that to close 18. So. That's not bad. All right, guys, we'll find another one for you. And until then, uh, we will see you on the charts. Come check us out. Follow us on Twitter and check out our Patreon site.